we're back. All right, so in order to get started with this Ajax thing, we're going to need to um, install something called uh, Selenium. So uh, all you got to do is easy install Selenium. And this is assuming you have easy install um, installed and configured on your, on your operating system. So um, I do have uh, previous examples on how you're supposed to install that joint, but um, go ahead and, and make sure you install it. So you're going to see that it says that it is installed. So now that it's installed, we can go ahead and use it. And we're going to be using it within Visual Studio now. Hopefully this new color and everything is going to be easier for you guys to see the text. Um, so I'm hoping that anyways, it's going to, I think it's better than the white background. So uh, in order to uh, get started, we need to go ahead and import a few of the things that we're going to need to get this scraper working to actually be able to scrape the Applebee's site. So we're going to start with um, importing Mechanize. And Mechanize is what we've used in the past to be able to fill out a form for us so that it identifies form fields and things like that. And then we just go ahead and, um, and upload that joint. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, import uh, URL lib2. And what this will request the web pages for us. We're going to need to import time so that we can give some time breaks between our uh, request for the web pages. And then more, most importantly, we need to import uh, Selenium. And you can see uh, Visual Studio if you do have it, which is an optional thing, but if you do have it, um, you can see that it is... Um, uh, actually, I messed it up from Selenium. You can see that the uh, IntelliSense is pulling up um, things that we want to say. So um, if it pulls up with the recommendation, I mean, you can just use your arrow keys and press enter, and it automatically types in a lot of this crap. So it definitely helps out with some of the redundancy. Um, now, a few things that we do need with Selenium to get this to work, um, we're going to want to do, like, uh, from Selenium, we're going to say... It's actually selenium.common dot exceptions. And we're going to say import no such attribute exception. And then from selenium uh, dot webdriver dot common dot keys import keys. Uh, keys actually allows us to press keys and things like that. Now we got that junk. We're going to go ahead and import OS just in case we need that. And then uh, we also want to import our RE module, which stands for regular expressions. And to get started, um, let's go ahead and let's just uh, set up our opening browser. So uh, we need to go ahead and request the um, web page but before we do that we kind of need to spoof our uh, browser so it looks like we're not just a robot connecting to the site and um, we're going to go ahead and um, use mechanize for that so the typical thing that I usually do is BR standing for browser and just say mechanize dot browser and then we do open and close parentheses and now um, you've now instantiated a new object. So the BR now carries all the mechanized um, objects. So we're going to do BR set um, handle robots. Let's say false. BR dot set handle refresh. We're going to make that false. And then we're going to go ahead and add our um, headers to our, so when we request the page, we pass in the spoofed headers. So it looks like um, our user agent is Firefox. So they'll think we're a Firefox browser. And this is just a list of two items that we're passing in in our headers. And then... We're going to do, we're going to instantiate the uh, Selenium object. So we're going to go um, browser.get. Oh, actually, we need to instantiate the object. My bad. So we're going to say browser 
equals webdriver dot Firefox. So this is instantiating a uh, browser object which um, is going to pull up Firefox using the Selenium web driver that we just installed. And then we're going to say browser dot get. And you can see IntelliSense is just doing wonders for us already. And we're going to do H, you have to spell out the entire web address dot applebees.com. I'm used to uh, C sharp now, so I'm putting like semicolons and things on top of our, um, on top of our, on, at the end of my statements, which we don't need in Python. All right, so now that we have this, um, let's just go ahead. I don't want to make these videos too long, so this is just giving us a taste of how we import and um, and some of the features that we're going to be using with Mechanize to uh, spoof the user agent and things like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and. Um, do this browser.webdriver.firefox and we're going to launch this joint and watch what it does. took a little bit longer than I expected but as you can see it launched up our browser here and it went to the Applebee's location within the URL uh, one of the things um, the Selenium web driver uh, it's you can use Chrome uh, definitely not IE but um, you can use Chrome and um, the Firefox had the most support as of about a year ago and I haven't been doing too much Ajax scraping with Selenium in the last uh, probably six or seven months, so I'm not sure if Chrome is any better, but uh, I tend to use Firefox. And um, anyway, so you can see that it pulled up the web page here. And because of all the applications I have running on my computer, it's kind of slow, but it'll probably be a little bit quicker on your computer because you don't have so much stuff running. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill this. And another thing too is, um, well actually I'm hoping that the reason why they went so slow is just because I'm tape recording two different things. I have my screen being taped, I have the webcam being scraped, uh, uh, not scraped, but taped. So uh, anyway, that's how you end up requesting a web page with Selenium WebDriver. And in the next page we're going to go ahead and just fill out the form. And then um, I think in the next video after that, then we're going to be ex extracting the data that we need. So. Please uh, rate, subscribe, only rate if you're going to give it a thumbs up. Just saying thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, good night. Bye.